for the obiata that I was talking to you guys about, which is also known as tomato sauce, um, basically what is in it, like I mentioned, is uh, the plum tomato, the red pepper, the scotch uh, onion, as well as the scotch bonnet pepper that's really, really spicy. So basically it's boiling this down, like make sure you cut it into pieces, and then boil it down and then eventually blend it smooth and you will get basically this consistency. It's going to be thick. Um, like it's thick like this but it's just like all tomato sauce as well as um, the red pepper everything all mixed in it so this will actually be your base for the tomato sauce so um, the oil has been eaten up for maybe about two minutes right now so what you can do to test if it's actually heated up enough is you can drop some onions in it and once it goes in and it sizzles then you know it's time to just pour the rest in so as you can see that so I'm just gonna dump the rest of my onion inside the sauce pan. And one of the things I'm sure if you ever cook Italian food, people talk about sofrito. So this is kind of like the base for your uh, sauce is the onion. You're basically trying to uh, soften. You don't want to fry the onion. You just want to let it soften and be translucent to basically give the oil a flavor, like infuse the onion flavor with the oil. So you will just want to like stir it around for about um, two minutes. And then after that, we'll pour the tomato sauce in it. So now that the onion is a little bit translucent and softened, so you can now start pouring in your tomato sauce that we talked about the last time. So be careful while pouring this in because it's so thick and it's going to start splattering because you're basically going from like, you can let the tomato sauce actually cool down. And mm -hmm. if it's cold, once it heats up, it's going to start splattering all over the place. So be careful while you're doing this. Just pour the sauce Ooh. inside it. That's what I mean by like it's splattering. You can see that. So I'm going to pour a little bit more in it. And you just, so it's going to just start heating up and bubbling up. And now what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to pour chicken bouillon. I don't know if you're familiar with chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon is just basically some sort of like chicken broth with salt. It's like a flavored, um, intense flavor of like chicken broth basically. So I'm going to put about six of it in the sauce. And this is basically what flavors your, uh, your sauce. So pour that in it. And then I'm going to also put salt in it. You can use any salt, sea salt, regular salt, doesn't matter. I'm going to pour some salt in it, but be careful because you don't want to pour too much salt in it because we're going to eventually pour chicken broth that I actually made the last time in it. So I'm going to stir it around for a little bit. I'm going to pour the chicken broth inside the sauce just to like thin it out because as you can know earlier, the sauce is really thick as you can see here. So you want to just basically thin it out and then let it cook. So I'm going to pour this in it gonna pour not all of it but almost all of it in it and then you can see this gets thinner like really watery but I just want it to boil down for another um, 30 minutes basically to get back to the consistency that it needs to get back to and I'm gonna cover it earlier this morning I made chicken broth and um, the way to make it is basically get half a chicken or whole chicken whatever it is I'm gonna actually cover this because it's we explain this. So basically this morning I just took fresh chicken, pour it in a saucepan, put about half a cup, actually almost a, like this this cup basically, the full size as well as half of it, one half of it, and poured it in the saucepan, put about two chicken bouillon cubes in it, diced onion as well as salt, and just let it boil down. And uh, after that was done, I basically um, took the chicken, because the chicken is eventually going to go into the tomato sauce. I just basically put it in the oven and baked it, and this is the end result. So it's, you're not really frying the chicken, you're just boiling it for about 45 minutes, and then you get a broth out of it, which you can use for your sauce, and then you just bake it. And that's the end result. So, so now that um, the tomato sauce is actually has a thick consistency, as you can see, it's not as watery as it was earlier when I poured the chicken broth inside it. So it's a little bit thicker. So it's almost about 20 minutes, actually. So you don't need, it's not 30 to 45 minutes, it's about 20 minutes. I tend not to like time myself or measure, but 
So now that I did that, so it's only 20 minutes. So I'm going to basically pour the um, baked chicken that I spoke to you guys earlier. And I didn't actually, I think I spoke about the smoked turkey. This is just turkey that I got from Fairways. This is like a supermarket here in New York City. And uh, I just basically got it from them, rinsed it, and then put it in the oven to bake. It's really salty. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to put a lot of salt in um, the base initially. So what I'm going to just do now is just pour everything inside. And as I said earlier, you don't have to only do chicken in this or smoked turkey. You can always do fish as well if you want to. Um, there's actually a Nigerian sauce called fish stew. Uh, it's the same base, but all you just have to do is do fish in it. So this time around, I'm only doing the chicken and turkey. So I'm just going to pour all of this in there and stir it and basically let it cook for um, basically I'm basically trying to get the chicken and the turkey to marinate with the tomato sauce uh, for another 15 minutes and then it will be really thick and then we can just turn off the heat and serve. So we're going to look at the balance, um, actually the end result of the tomato sauce. So as you can see, it's almost 10 minutes ago so I already have the chicken and the um, smoked turkey already marinated with the sauce. And you can see the consistency. Ugh, it smells and so it good. It smells really, really good. I'm, I can't wait to eat it. Mm -hmm.